What is up, fellas? Welcome back to Commons Over Cold Brew with me, your host, Emma Abrahamson. Today we are talking to Cooper Tier for the second time on this podcast. The last time he was on, it was the very end of 2020, so it's been a long time and a lot has happened. If you didn't know, Cooper and I were teammates for literally one year only back in, what was it, 2017, 2017, 2018? On the Oregon Ducks team now, he is a pro runner for Nike, he's accomplished a lot, and we talk a little bit about that in this episode, so I don't even know how to begin to describe this conversation, so you're just gonna have to take a listen, and I hope you guys enjoy the convo over some cold brew. We also had a little cameo in here from Reed Brown, who was also on the Oregon team when I was there. Him and Cooper were the same year at Oregon, and he is still running for the Ducks, but he made a little cameo in the background of the Zoom call. Also, I'm a little sorry in advance because I had quite a few technical difficulties in this episode. Oh my goodness, like while it was going on, it was just kind of chaotic. Um, My Zoom thing ended in the middle of it. And then also when I went to edit it, my audio was like really loud, which is really weird. And it it doesn't really happen. So I don't know what happened there. And I tried to fix it as best I could, but I'm going to make sure that doesn't happen next time. Also, I wanted to record a video version and I did record the video version on zoom but it didn't record my part so it's literally just cooper's video the entire time so it just looks weird and then i couldn't post it now i'm sad but the conversation is still funny regardless but i (laughs) just prefacing it with that so (laughs) i don't yeah sorry today's episode of the podcast is brought to you by inside tracker you guys know i've been using inside tracker for over a year now they are one of my long-term sponsors and I literally love them. When you do what you love, like running, like racing, like enjoying the great outdoors, like everyone here who listens to this podcast probably does, you want to be able to do it for life. And Inside Tracker can help. They were founded in 2009 by leading scientists in aging, genetics, and biometrics. And they use a patented algorithm to analyze your body's data and provide you with a clear picture of what's going on inside you and to offer you science back recommendations for positive diet and lifestyle changes. So basically every couple months you go and get blood work done and then Inside Tracker gives you your list of biomarkers and what you need to work on, what biomarkers are optimized and specific recommendations that are tailored to you and your body and your lifestyle and help you optimize all your biomarkers. It's very helpful if you're data oriented and you just wanna level up your running, your life, everything else. Inside Tracker is a key way to be able to do that. And they help you track your progress every day, every step of the way towards reaching your performance goals and living a longer and healthier life. For a limited time, you can get 20% off the entire Inside Tracker store. Just go to insidetracker.com slash Emma. That is insidetracker.com slash Emma. The link is in the show notes as per usual. Highly recommend. Now let's get into today's episode with Cooper. Okay, Cooper, first of all, welcome to the podcast. Second of all, I'm like really sorry to disappoint because I know we plan to wear matching outfits, matching sweatshirts, and I I have the worst luck, I think, because my washer dryer is in my bathroom, like it's behind a door in my bathroom. And for some reason today, like I locked myself out of my bathroom. So the my jacket or my sweatshirt is literally sitting in my bathroom right now, but I can't get inside my bathroom. So I tried to request maintenance and I don't know how to open the door. So we, we can't twin today. That's actually crazy. I know it's really unfortunate. It's very bad timing because I really wanted to, you know, debut Frank Ocean on my thing. podcast. What? This is going to be like, this was going to be our thing, but I know it was, I'm like really disappointed in myself. Maybe the maintenance guy will come like while we're recording. So then I can, you know, pop That'd it on. Be awesome. We could get him on here. Ask him a few questions. <laughs> yeah. Ask him a few questions. Ask him how the job is. Yeah. Thank you for taking the time to come on. I know you've uh, been on the podcast before, but it was a while ago. A lot has happened since then. It was like 2020. Was it? It was oh, like was that long 2020. Ago? Yeah. yeah you're right. So how are you? <laughs> I'm good. Can't complain. Well, it's actually kind of gross here today, but overall pretty solid. What do you mean no gross? Like I just... really sunburned yesterday. Is it so like rainy or what? Yeah, it's rainy. It was like 75 yesterday. Oh. So I, I was tanning on my roof and I got really sunburned. Oh. I'm really bad tan lines now. So it's all day for yesterday, but race tomorrow, I think. So wait, what race are you doing? What meet? Oregon Twilight. 
You know, wow. they like pay alumni to come back. Yeah, should I come? Should I like, go back? You think? A raise. Oh my gosh. I like, that would be like probably the most embarrassing moment of my life, I think, <laughs> if I tried to step on the line. <laughs> what do you think your best race would be right now? 5K? No. Oh my God. No. I think a 200 probably would be my best. 200? Bet. Really? don't even know honestly maybe i i feel like i could still rip out a good like 1500 maybe like i could probably break six that's solid. <laughs> that's a good laugh. in a 1500 that's early season. yeah yeah i have time um yeah. i'll come back for worlds later don't worry so okay I'll, good yeah i'll see Are you actually gonna come to worlds i don't know yet i'm gonna make a trip to eugene or like eugene slash portland i don't know if i'm gonna come for usa's worlds or portland track festival so I'm deciding. Worlds just seems like intense, especially with like yeah. housing. Like, where would I say? You know, aren't you a content creator? That's like where all the content is, right? You can. Yeah. Get what am I supposed to do though? Like, little baby Jakob. <laughs> you can hang out with him. Get him a coffee. Yeah. Thank you. No, I'll just hang out with Jakob's dad. Yurt. Yeah, Yurt. He yeah, scares he me. He scares me. He seems nice. Matt Wisner interviewed him, and he said it was nice. Really? Yeah. He seems very caring. That's one of the ways I would describe him. Loves his kids. As most people do. (laughs) I would hope so. Do you you watch their TV show? No, because I don't like reading very much. Um, (laughs) Yeah, it's a lot of reading. Well, I actually do like reading, but like, I don't like reading that. Yeah, I mean, it's a lot. You have to pay attention the whole time. Yeah, I should probably do some homework on on them. Yeah, you can like get the in- insight onto their lives. I feel like you would do that. You got to get insight into the competition. I can find his little Achilles heel. I can maybe like, what if he doesn't just like smoothies or something, and I like give him a smoothie before the race. Like, oh my god, pissed. Sabotage him. Do you think you could ever beat him? What kind of a question is that, Emma? I don't know. Is he that good? Like, is he that like? I can't. I don't. I don't follow running that much, to be honest. So I don't even know like the levels of people. Like, is he unbeatable now? Or is it like he can still be beaten? No, I think I could beat him in the right okay. race. Well, I know he listens to Convos Over Cold Brew. So I know that like, yeah. Oh, he's really good though. He's really good. <laughs> Here's number one fan. <laughs> Top three, probably. That's my boy. I've raced him twice. Wait, which meets? Uh, both at World Juniors. Oh, who won? He ate me up. Oh, I think he got. I think he got second in the fifteen hundred and third in the five k, and I got tenth in both. So I was, I was competitive. I was right okay. there. Okay. Well, maybe we'll be able to race him again at Worlds this year. Yeah, that's World the Senior. Racing that pre pre classic. Oh, uh, wait, that's at the end of this month, huh? Mm-hmm. Uh, people were telling me to come to pre too. Maybe I'll do Dude, that. Instead. Of, wait, where do you live? San Diego. It's not oh. close. Dude, that's but, not far, though. No, I know, and I, I want to go up there at some point. I want to let you stay at their house or something, maybe. No, you know I know, what? and a lot of my, I mean, a lot of my friends are, like, racing at Pre, and I know a lot of my friends are going to watch, so I'm sure people already have, like, Airbnbs that I could literally just stay at, so I'm just making it difficult for myself. Well, stop doing that. And yeah, I know, I need to. It's not I'll that hard. Book a flight after this, geez, okay. Well, I know you, you literally texted me, you're like, Emma, I need to come on your podcast so bad because I, like, I need to talk about how attractive Logan Paul is. And I know, like, Logan also, like, DM me and Jake. They're both like, we love your podcast, Emma. And um, I know Cooper, like, really. <laughs> um, so, is okay, from your perspective, is Logan Paul attractive? Because you didn't even reply to the Snapchat story. You just hinted at it. Yeah, I'm not gonna like. I don't. I don't know enough about them. Is he the one that did that? that <laughs> yeah. Thing? But, but yeah. And then which one is the one that likes to box? That's Jake. We watched his when he fought uh, that one guy. The big one. Yeah, yeah, the big guy. I don't even know. I didn't even watch that. Yeah, that was dope. Um, yeah. What? Why'd you get into this like fourteen-year-old girl phase of? <laughs> loving the the paul brothers i don't i don't actually love the paul brothers i went down a rabbit hole okay i was having a manic episode at home i live alone you know it gets weird and boring around here so i got to entertain myself somehow so i was just like what that's what you choose (laughs) on that day i did okay that's fair that's fair i can't say i haven't done that before 
Yeah. Okay. Don't act like you're above me in this. I'm sure you would like, I don't even want to see your YouTube subscriptions and recommend it. Okay. You probably watch weird stuff. Everyone does. Okay. Okay. We watch, we watch videos of like, uh, the American revolution and then building like, uh, roads and train tracks and stuff. Okay. Well, that's like wholesome. That's like wholesome. Yeah. Knowledgeable content. Meanwhile, I'm rotting my brain out by watching (laughs) Logan Paul scream into a camera saying, I'm a bluebird. Oh what? <laughs> Never mind. I'm done. I'm done with. This. I was gonna <laughs> say even... let's let's get to it before people click out of the podcast. They already have. They already have. <laughs> um, do you credit your fame to Ben Crawford's YouTube channel? No, um, oh. I think it's been somewhat mutually beneficial. You know, we've we've helped each other. We've we've built each other up. Yeah. Um, I think I've done stuff outside of that that was cool i think every once in a while but i will uh, say like i'm not i'm not a big running youtuber watcher uh but i did watch that one video that ben just posted well not just posted this was actually like two months ago now but of you running that 5k the 1306 and it was actually funny oh yeah that was that was actually one of our better ones i was like maybe Uh, i should watch these more often i'm not an active fan i guess smash that subscribe button um no like for sure at the beginning like when he started the channel when it was still called ben crawford there was some like i was kind of against it for a while because i was walking around campus one day and someone was like oh my god it's ben crawford and i was walking by myself and i was like, Shh. that that was like a low that wasn't that was not a great point that was not a great day for me but i mean yeah no like dude he he's got stands like and carter and matt both are like working full-time doing it well not yeah. full-time but like they're working hard on it and it's sick definitely definitely a fan yeah it's pretty crazy honestly like what it's become it's just so funny to look back like I mean when I was still in school and then like Ben and you guys were like so young and then now what everything has turned into I'm like what what is this life what is yeah dude he's your competitor now well (laughs) I guess but I feel like we post very different content at this point in time do you think you're more famous or Ben's more famous I think it depends on who you ask. I think we have very different demographics. It's like I asked the athlete special one time. I was like, what does your demographics look like? And he's like 80% male, 20% female. I'm like, well, mine's 20 or mine's 20% male and 80% female. Like it's completely yeah. different audiences. So that makes sense. Yeah. But I mean, I started my YouTube channel before Ben. So it's just, that's did. saying something. So that is saying that you got the jump on him. Yeah. It's kind of sad that he's catching up yeah it's fine he's popping off so he's doing whatever um okay well enough about that and youtube (laughs) um okay so like i said a lot has happened since you came on in 2020 you signed a contract that's exciting congratulations Mm -hmm. um you had some good races in the oregon uniform Mm -hmm. you're number one all time in oregon in 5k is that true that's pretty legit how do you feel about that school record no that's yeah. actually sick that was I had like three goals coming into college and I remember you know how when we would go to like Manzanita for uh well you guys used to go to Sun River yeah that was know, literally like one year <laughs> Man, that was the first year I was there so went to Manzanita and I had that meeting with Andy and he's like yeah you'll you'll get the 5k record before you leave here and I was like bro that thing is like super <laughs> old that's just a bold like, statement too especially yeah. like a freshman coming in I know. And I had like not really done anything yet. Like I hadn't done, I wasn't that good, but I was like, Ed didn't get it. Like there were some really good guys that didn't get it. And then, and then I got it, which was sick. So that was like Andy, Andy kind of primed me for that when I was pretty young. So it was cool to get that in my last race, like my last collegiate race. Well, I guess sorry in cross country. I forgot about that. But uh, <laughs> I like, that's like a, that's a blurry phase in my memory. <laughs> yeah, you're like, I'm blocking that one out. Um, yeah, no, so that was sick. There's There's been some cool stuff. Yeah, I'm like number one of that, indoor mile also. So that was cool. I think coming in and just like coming to a program like Oregon and leaving with any type of record is pretty sick. So, And I also got my name on the Jayco floor. That was my other goal coming in. That's your biggest claim to fame is the Jayco floor. Yeah, I mean, you can't take that away from me. Someone's going to break that record, that 5K record, but you can't rip my, my <laughs> name off that floor. 
I mean, yeah. I mean, that is true. That is true. So I'll look out for it the next time I'm in the J Club, which you should. will probably be next. You go pretty often, don't you? Yeah, I, I you know what I need to. Um, Are you a tutor? No, when I need to go get tutoring for um, calculus 101, I go there. Mm-hmm. So that's my eight cool. hours. Yeah. That's um, yeah, I mean, it's, I'll, yeah, I'll just make sure to keep an eye out for that. Is it already on the floor? It's on the floor. They're doing some polishing on it. They got to make mm-hmm. it a little bit darker. It's kind of hard to see, but <laughs> right in the center. It's like in the corner, like right before the bathrooms or? Yeah, it's actually under the third stall in the men's room. Okay. To take a look. If okay, I cool. can't miss it. Okay, cool. That sounds good. Um. Well, why did you decide to run cross country? Because didn't Cole, did Cole go pro before cross country? I don't even remember now. Yeah. Um, so we kind of both decided to come back for cross country. And so we, so we basically were like, yeah, we're going to come back for cross country. We're going to run, we're going to try to win nationals. Um, and that'll be cool. And then we'll probably both sign after that. And we went to, uh sun river and we were there for one day and after that it got really smoky because of the fire so we had to come back and we came back and cole was like to be to be fair like cole definitely had way more opportunities than me and like he had just come off the olympics and like he had a lot bigger stuff going on than i had at the time so like i don't blame it at all for like signing his contract but yeah we came back and he was like you know i think i'm gonna stay here i'm gonna sign um and I'm kind of just gonna do my thing this fall and get ready for indoors and I was like super cool makes sense I remember one day he like showed up at our house and we were kind of just standing here I was like why is Cole here yeah like, this is and he was kind of just like loitering around making chit chat and I was like this is awkward and finally we were leaving he's like oh I also I have something to tell you ah. and then that you signed and I was like that's sick. You know, it was like, <laughs> it was like a little awkward for a second, but no, that was cool. So I ended up sticking it out and um, yeah, it was like pretty good. We were off to a good start. Well, my first race, I never won a cross country race in college until uh, this past fall when I won Dellinger. Still my only, still my only winning in college cross, but I got one. I'm on the board. So yeah, honestly, that's more than a lot of people can say. So yeah. So that was cool um whatever blah 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 rest of the season happened it's in the past <laughs> it is in the past Good. everyone has bad days I think I needed that what you just need to be humbled a little bit or yeah no I needed to like yeah a little bit because I like got a lot of stuff tested after and I figured out a lot of places that I was really lacking and I was like wow I should not be running fast at all like I should be doing that every race not just at the one. So yeah, that was good. And I've changed a lot of stuff since then. Um, just like nutrition, uh, like supplements, all this stuff, um, hydration. So yeah, that was actually like a big eye opener when it came down to it. Um, just doing so badly and like crawling and making a fool of myself. Um, but I thought it was so funny. I, I really did feel bad because it, I felt like it took away from the actual, race because like at the end of the day there was a couple posts like Connor Mance went like Connor Mance had a historic season he won two NCAA cross country titles in one year and he ran super fast and popped off but then there's like 50 posts of me crawling <laughs> <laughs> and I was like come on like nobody wants to see this especially me but there was some good stuff like the beer mile had a really good commentary thing over it yeah uh, yeah, I mean, I feel like people respected you. Like they're like, you gave it your all, you know? For sure. No, I got like I got a lot of a lot of really nice messages after. And it was good to like take a step back and kind of laugh at myself and just be like, okay, this happened, whatever. Yeah. So then you're like, all right, time to <laughs> time to sign a contract now. Yeah, I actually signed in Tallahassee that same day. Did anything get affected by their performance or no? Nope. No. No. Nope. What did the people say? Were they like, great? great job today like you got a lot of heart <laughs> you <laughs> you tried you tried you you crossed the finish line though right oh I crossed that finish line <laughs> see there you go yeah they're like okay just sign it and go sign it we already have this budgeted out so yeah. just sign it. whatever so, you can have what you're gonna have so did you already know like you were only gonna run cross country because you still had eligibility right for outdoor and indoor yeah I had like I talked to Johnson and kind of figured out it just made sense for me 
yeah um, in terms of like the timing and everything and I don't know there was some logistical stuff that I felt like that was the best time to do it um and especially like with everything going on in Eugene this year I don't know I didn't I was also done with school after the fall so I would have had to take like more classes which I didn't want to do and now like I can't even imagine going to class (laughs) um so it's been like it's been good because I've been able to travel more for meets and stuff even though like I haven't really gone anywhere um (laughs) get mad about it but uh yeah no like overall it's been it's been really good yeah I kind of knew that it was time to make a change it used to be hard to find the exact auto parts you needed and that meant spending a lot of time at swap meets it's a different game now when you can order exactly what you need from ebay motors They have 122 million parts, so you can always find the right fitment. Spend less time searching and more time building with the eBay Motors app or visit ebaymotors.com. Let's ride. Moms, at Vanguard, you're more than just a parent. You're the heart of the family. You're the first responder to any need. You can be the hero and the villain, sometimes on the same day, because you know that in the end, your legacy is the values you instill in them. At Vanguard, you're more than just an investor. You're an owner because the future you're building is bigger than yourself. Discover the value of ownership at Vanguard.com. Fund shareholders own the funds that own Vanguard. Vanguard Marketing Corporation Distributor. So it was like Johnson, were they like trying, like Johnson and Coach Thomas, like were they trying to convince you to stay? Like how does that work? Or were they like, no, like get your bread? (laughs) Uh, They did not tell me to get my bread. I'll tell you that much. (laughs) <laughs> they no they definitely wanted me to stay and like obviously like, if it was if it was right I would have stayed um but I felt like it was just time to go but yeah like, they definitely wanted me to stay because we got like I mean we have like this Pac-12 streak that we got going on there's there's a bunch of stuff and like the thing is we're still around we're still like helping out with the team um and, so, and stuff like that so I feel like we're not fully removed from the team but yeah it kind of sucks like not being able to score points for them. And I think that was kind of um, a bit of a blow. Yeah. And like doing it after cross country, it's hard because like, you can't really like, have recruits come in after cross country. So there's not much time to like make up for it. Yeah. Uh, by recruiting. So, yeah, I don't know. I feel like it was a little bit awkward for a little while, but um, no, it wasn't bad. They were fine with it. They're like, it's your life. Yeah, and I mean, you're still obviously training there, so yeah, you obviously have to be on good terms. Yeah, no, like me and Cole are like assistant coaches. Oh, really? Yeah. Like, actually, or just we don't coach self-proclaim. Anybody. I have, <laughs> but like, are you on like a coaching roster? No, not really. <laughs> I, think, I think Cole signed the papers. I didn't sign the papers, so <gasps> I I think I'm like volunteer assistant. So I just help with like if some of the younger guys all right being mean or annoying I just say you can't talk to me like that I'm your superior whoa then, yeah wow that's that... pull out. I, I love saying that it makes me feel powerful <laughs> but then they just laugh at me so it doesn't really change anything do you think people are scared of you no no I, do they, they don't I, take you seriously I think they take me seriously when I want them to take me seriously okay it's not that often that I need people to take me seriously but yeah every once in a while well, how's like the team vibe at Oregon now? It's so different. I don't know one person on that team anymore. Yeah. You know, Jack, Jack's still on the team somehow. I there's okay. There's sometimes I don't know any of the girls, but there's sometimes when I'm watching like a race and I look at people and I'm like, how are you still running for the university of Oregon? You're older than me. I am an elderly woman now, 25. I'm like, how are you still on this team? So yeah. There's still there's still some of the guys where I'm like what but yeah Jack makes there, sense. Reed's here. Um, who else would you know? I don't even know. Those are like probably the main two. Yeah, Messler's still around, but he's not. I don't think he's running for Oregon anymore. Yeah. I don't know if you can see Reed pondering life over there. What is he doing? Just staring. Uh, sometimes he just maybe Reed. Stares out the window. Uh, oh, God damn it. <laughs> We had a bet that, like, if he came on, um, 
if you would call him Reed or Baby Reed? Of course it's going to be Baby Reed. What do you expect? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh my gosh, we have a cameo. Uh, Reed, you've been requested and you didn't even reply to, you only liked my comment of, to come on the podcast. But is this like you coming on the podcast now? Wow. It's a busy situation, so, but mm-hmm. I forgot, so. Okay, kind of funny though, like my random friend, when you guys were here at SCSU, whatever, doing your thing at the Chula Vista Center, my random friend, she does not run at all, just sends me a picture of like, she happened to be at the meet because her cousin runs for Berkeley and she just sends me a picture of someone in Oregon uniform being like, hey, there's your team. And it was you. And I was like, I know that guy. That's what Um, I know. I I, I know that guy. How how would you describe the team dynamic or team vibe compared to when Emma was when Emma was here um I would say childish I would say young everyone uh, like immature a, everyone's just like a sophomore or below right now besides like me Jack and Aaron kind of yeah so just like pretty young and like new well I feel like you guys also have youthful energy meanwhile like when I feel like when I was on the team before you guys even got there like all the older guys just were it was like they seemed old. It was yeah. like Brian Fernandez. Like Sad. he was he was the team father. We don't have any like Reed is the oldest person. And do you think Reed is any what equivalent to what Brian Fernandez was? I think there's some um similarities. That's so messed up for Brian. Oh yeah. I miss, bro, I miss Brian. Me too. Seems like he's doing really well right now though. Yeah. He actually like lived in San Diego for a while, but then he moved um right before I moved. So damn yeah reed what are you up to today don't you guys like have stuff to do like do you like well wait do you you're not doing classes either reed no i'm not in classes oh so you guys like what do you do all day except for run kick it chill nap vibe together post up Um, do you guys like living in eugene eugene's not bad it, I don't mind. It kind of makes you focus on running, which I yeah. Think. Like, do you do anything like when you leave the house? What do you go do other than run uh, and eat? Get groceries. We'll go chill at the park sometimes. We'll go kick it at dinner. the park. Uh, um, we can hike Spencer's every once in a while. <laughs> do you actually hike Spencer's? I did last weekend. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's like I hiked Spencer's one time my freshman year. I've gone a couple times. Okay. We used to go and have dinner up there. We used to go to Skinner's every once in a while. Yeah, I went there the other day. Um, <laughs> so we don't really do anything. Yeah, so that sounds sick. Well, I mean, it does make sense. You guys are... Um, Is living runners. in Portland fun? It's fun. I mean, it just depends on what uh, circle you're in. I mean, if you're a professional runner, it's, it depends on what team you're on, too. <laughs> depends on where you live if you live in beaverton it's a little less fun but if you're living in downtown portland like a lot of the pro runners live in like northwest portland where i lived and i mean if you're hanging out with the friends i'm hanging out with it's fun but if you have to be like really focused it's not the best friend group to be around we're a little um insane so fair enough are you guys going to be in eugene for a while you think are you guys like starting a track club like what's the what's the tea on that um the tea's cold right now. We don't know. But, Seriously, uh, I was hoping to get like some like thing that was the, you know headline on Let's Run. No, um, no, nothing we can talk about right now. Kind of in the works. We're we're you know going up the ladder, talking to the people we got to talk to. <laughs> okay. I know the running world is like huge, so you probably just like have to have your people talk to other people. You're lucky I squeeze you in between meetings. It's been <laughs> nonstop. I know. But, uh, I had to talk oh, to your, uh, actually, your uh, yeah, agent. Yeah, wait, did you talk to someone before this to make sure this is okay? <laughs> no, was I supposed to? Oh, shut up. Do you have an agent? I was actually looking it up. I was like, who is it? I do have an here? agent. Who is it? He's undercover. Seriously? No, Why? You're Isaiah giving me Kiwa. no tea. His name's Isai Okiwa. He's awesome. The agency is called Riata. Um, Gavin actually works for them, like part-time. So Gavin's your agent? Gavin helps with it. Like, if oh. I need something, I can ask Gavin. Um, let's see, who would you know? Do you know who Shannon Osika is? Yeah. Like, he's I don't her. live under a rock, Cooper. I'm not an idiot, okay? Sorry, you're talking to me about Jake Paul and not running. But, <laughs> um, Sorry, but, you, you literally texted me asking to talk about it, okay? So I made it a 
main talking point. Wrong. Uh, um, yeah, what? so he's her agent also. He's got a bunch of people. Caroline Rotich, she's a marathoner. She's she's good. Okay. Um, he's really cool though. He's awesome. He's like a he's like a family friend sort of. Mm-hmm. So yeah, he's dope. Underrated. So did you know Underrated. you were gonna did you know that you were gonna go with Nike like right away or did you even talk to like did you talk to other people or was it just Yeah, I did. I was like heavily considering some other places. Um are you allowed to say which ones or no? I don't know, am I? Probably, maybe. Nah, maybe I shouldn't just for the sake of things but yeah just for the sake of contracts yeah um, do you like I, do you like it so far like being a pro oh yeah it's sick i love it it's like i mean at the end of the day i basically just do what i was doing before but like i don't have to go to school now and they pay me to do it so yeah it's that's good. how that's what every pro runner says it's just like it's the same life but without the school and at yeah. least you still have the team environment too. Like you see these people that are just running by themselves and I just don't know how people do that. So yeah, that's what I like. I like being surrounded by people and like actually ha- not being just like solo. And we yeah. have a lot of people to work out with. Um, like James is still here. Cole, Matt Wisner. Um, and then like some of the guys on the team also. So yeah. it's really good. Yeah. It's like, it's cool. I need, I get bored though. What do you, what hobbies do you do? Like, what do you do in your free time? um i usually ask like the guest this question so i'm like really annoyed that you asked me this because i don't know i need to get to it first because i don't do anything no i was gonna it was literally like one of my questions um i don't really know what i do either like i just kind of like goof around and then film it and then put it on the internet and like that's my life oh tight do you like make tiktoks and stuff a lot i've like started to become a tiktoker yeah so it's kind of cringe but you know we got to stay relevant it's actually kind of fun it's kind of better than youtube like youtube I'm not like, I don't like editing videos. So TikTok is way easier. Yeah, I guess that's true. Do you like, have you been blown up or what? I mean, I have 25K, so no, but like, it's not bad, I guess. 25K followers? Yeah. Oh, sheesh. Yeah, I'm a TikToker now, so. What's your your biggest, what what kind of numbies are you pulling in on the videos? Like, what's your biggest video? My biggest video has over a million views, but it's like, the the algorithm is just weird. So you don't know. Like, I, I, I'm a consistent, uh, queen though like i i usually have like 15 to 20k views on my tiktok so okay that's okay that's solid you're you're pulling in numbies you could probably make it to ben's camp uh, oh yeah i i actually applied yeah yeah maybe so. just out of the age range but I yeah well they said what it's like freshman in college and i'm 17 so i, think they, I would work yeah. right? you're 17 yeah okay tight yeah so i thought you were a little bit younger I thought you yeah, were like, I mean, I, I get mistaken for that a lot. It's definitely like my height, like 5'11". People are like, oh, yeah, you're definitely like 14. But I'm like, I'm actually 17, so step off. Fair enough. Yeah. Reed, are you off. going pro? What's the what's your vibe? Hmm? Are you going to go pro or what's your vibe? I got no clue. <laughs> you got to get on it. Do you ever text Gavin? Yeah, I kind of do. How do you have no clue? Like, I mean, I didn't really start running fast until like a couple of races ago, so yeah but i don't even know how that works like when do you even start talking to people i don't know how it works either that's why i haven't done done anything (laughs) i don't think anyone knows how it works other than agents that are approaching people to sign contracts yeah usually they're just like sign here and then you do it and then you're pro did you have to like negotiate at all like were you like give me more money uh yeah i actually like i got like three or four different contracts before i got the one i actually signed because there's a lot of like little things I don't they're so long there's so much like lawyery stuff but there was also like different bonus structure that we wanted different races that we wanted to have like implemented into um like different perks and stuff so like there was yeah you I mean I didn't really do anything when it came down to that I just said like do this and then someone did it for me yeah that's like the agent's job that's why people have yeah. agents reading contracts is not fun again I don't like reading that much so <laughs> you no. don't know how to read i do know how to read i've read like i think i've already read three books this year so wow which ones okay hobby there you go i do yeah i do read sometimes i was reading yesterday wasn't i yeah. i'm reading the virgin suicides right now what is that about is it like fiction no what is it fiction it might be yeah it might be yeah it definitely is fiction <laughs> uh, matt wisner matt wisner gave me the book he uh it came highly recommended from him um 
It's about these girls that kill themselves. That's no, but it's like Cooper. I've only read like fifty pages so far, but that's like what I'm gathering. I'm sure there's more. It's stuff. not a page turner. I mean, I read slow. What do you want from me? I'm, I turn the pages as fastly, like as quickly as I can. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, well, okay. Wait. So, read your racing tomorrow. Wait, you guys are racing tomorrow. Mm-hmm. What are you racing? Uh, probably the eight. Whoa, right. fifteen. Are you guys gonna win or? I got coal in my race. So I'm hey, cook. I asked if you're gonna win. That's not an answer. Yeah, I said I got coal, so I'm gonna cook him. Oh, amazing! I'm patient to a fast time. I think what alumni is, are there? Alumni is actually coming. Like, are there people? That I don't you know? know. That's my thing. Like, I don't think so. Usually, this meet is big, but I don't think it's very big this year. Bless you. Thank you. Let me look at the heat sheets again. I didn't see any alumni on it brief little intermission here to talk about another one of my long-term sponsors of the podcast, which I love, which is Green Chef. Green Chef is a CCOF certified meal kit company and they make eating well, easy with plans to fit every kind of lifestyle. So whether you're keto, paleo, vegan, vegetarian, gluten-free, or you just want to eat more balanced meals like me, Green Chef offers a range of recipes to suit your kind of diet or preference. The thing I love about Green Chef is that I don't have to go to the grocery store when my Green Chef box gets delivered. You get to avoid those long lines because everything comes pre-portioned, the recipes are really easy to follow, and they're delivered right to your door. That way you don't even have to meal plan, meal prep. Everything's already portioned for you. The recipes are delicious. They offer 24 always changing recipes to choose from every single week so you never get bored. Also with Green Chef, you get organic ingredients and sustainably sourced produce so you can feel great about what you're eating and how it got to your table. And equally as important, every recipe tastes delicious. I cannot recommend it enough. I get so excited when my Green Chef box gets delivered to my door. Every single recipe I've had has tasted amazing. Like I can't think of one that I haven't liked, so that's saying something. Right now, you guys can try it out. Just go to greenchef.com slash coldbrew130 and use code coldbrew130 to get $130 off plus free shipping. That is greenchef.com slash coldbrew130 and use code coldbrew130 to get $130 off plus free shipping. Now let's get back into today's episode with Cooper. So what are your guys' thoughts on um, people saying that you only time trial? Like what's your vibe from that? Like, do you have a response? Yeah, it's not like, I mean, we can get everything we need done here. Obviously you want to race people, but we don't want to, it's all like relative to our schedule at the end of the day. Yeah. So like, for example, pen relays. We had this meet this weekend where we're like, I need to get a world champs qualifying time. So I wasn't going to travel all the way to the East Coast to run a race that maybe would go fast and then have to travel all the way back and then race the next week. So like that wasn't really conducive with our schedule. And also people were like, oh, like they're really trying to get it. This was a last minute thing, like our four by mile thing. <laughs> it wasn't like a big thing we had planned for a while. Coach is like, oh, this would could be fun if we like do it at the end of the meet. Uh, Cause we weren't going to race that week and we were, we were just going to pace. Yeah. But he's like, we might as well try to do this. So it it's really like that. stirred up a controversy. Like it really stirred. It the really pot. did. Yeah. There was some, like, there was a lot of stuff posted about it, but if you look, it's like none of us posted any of it really. Yeah. You guys are just there running. Yeah, it was cool though. Like, I don't know, that was a crazy meet. There was a lot of really cool, um, really cool stuff that went on. Yeah, I actually paid for Runner Space. Like, I signed up for Runner Space Plus no to watch way. it. Yeah, watch so I'm a number tomorrow. one fan. What? That's actually huge. You should watch our meet tomorrow. Is it on Runner Space? On Runner Space. Oh, well, there we go. I was like, I don't know if I can afford to fork up another $13 or whatever it was, but since I already got the month, might as well. Yeah, use the whole month um yeah so we'll i mean we have races on the schedule where we're racing people okay so wait what are they so you have pre read you're still in college so you got Pac-12 all the pack 12s next weekend then regionals nationals Jeez, that's that like it happens so fast i feel like it was just indoor season i feel like in college time goes by slow-mo I don't know. Now I feel like time is going by so fast, but maybe it's just me and I don't, because I don't have like a racing schedule. Like I'm not focused on each season of my career. It's just month yeah. by month. I guess when but you're not in the system anymore, it just goes by so much quicker because you're not like, you don't have the dates like set up or like looking forward to them or 
Yeah, exactly. Like September when you're in college, it's like, oh, you go to camp and you can't even think about running at Pac-12's track. Like that's just so far in advance. That's true. So what what other meets are on the calendar then? Um, in two weeks, we're going to Mount Sac. Oh. Ooh. And then, and then pre. And then we have, I think after pre is uh, Portland Track Festival. So you, are you, I assume, Reed, you're going to race that one too? Wait, you can't race Portland Track if it's nationals. I have probably not. I have no clue. I, I have no idea. Race race that. Not. Maybe it might be right after. If it's right after, maybe. I don't know. But, but then we have like USA's and Worlds. And then we'll probably go to Europe for a little while, which would be cool. Oh, well, that's exciting. Yeah. When is Worlds? Worlds is in July? Yeah. Um, 24th of July. 15th through 24th of july okay well what you if you come i want i should go i should go i should go i've I, literally your job why are you not thinking about these things because uh i don't know i think month by month you know i'm not thinking about what is it july that's not even that far away yeah. it's it's gonna be expensive tax write-off though exactly okay you need and like those. this, this world is going to be the worlds where I know people running in it. So I probably should go and support. Yeah. And I have like, friends seats. are going also. I have like blocked off seats for my friends. So I should probably just take advantage of that. I don't even know why I'm thinking otherwise. Okay. I'll be your manager. It's fine. Okay. Yeah. You set it up, please. I don't want to have to. I'll work, set but... it up. I'll just send you the information. Okay. Sounds good. Um, well, what's the goal for the year? Um, I mean, like incremental goal make worlds, make the final at worlds, get a medal at worlds, and then make the diamond league final. So we're going to go to Europe for probably a month or so and race all the diamond leagues, hopefully given everything continues to go to plan, but yeah, that'd be really cool. There's some, there's some cool stuff like over there. So Uh, what's like the, what's the draw of, um, you know, running a diamond league? Is it money? Uh, there's money competition you can run a lot faster and then like the diamond league finals where you can really make a lot of money but you can't you qualify solely based off points that you've earned at other diamond league meets so like for example pre-classic is a diamond league race so say i win pre-classic i'd probably get like 10 points or something like that and then you you know how many points points, you need if you Oh, it says less than a minute before. I know. That. I'm like really confused because usually it doesn't do that. So have we been talking for this long? No, it's literally 40 minutes. Are we minutes. having a great conversation right now? <laughs> yeah, time is flying. Okay, wait, I'm literally going to, I don't even know how much it's going to cost me. I'm just literally going to put it in there because I'm not trying to lose this. Do some editing. Literally. Okay. This is now cost me $15. So I literally, this is like paying for runner space twice. For, uh, I really, for the, the wait, Zoom. Wait, wait, wait. That's what? That's actually true. crazy. I'm really confused. Uh, I'm stressed. Oh, well. Oh, I got a text from Jake Willard. Hey, are you thinking of coming to pre-classic at all this year? I don't know, Jake. Why are you He's asking? listening. Where is he? Do you think he, he is? Had he had to. He must be. Or something. Okay, well, maybe uh, I will. Is this, me in- uh, this meeting has been upgraded by the host. Yeah, it better have unlimited minutes. Jeez, I'm wasting a lot of life savings on this conversation, Cooper. So, Here's and Reed, the- apparently. This is a duo I'm episode now. Some it's, dough. It's a dollar a minute. Do you make money off the podcast? I do. Oh, that's cool. This is my job. So, this is how I make money. So, oh, that's actually sick. I didn't realize that was like a job. Job. <laughs> do you listen to podcasts or no? No, not really. <laughs> You do like ad reads over it. Like that's how, but people are, you know, that people are podcasters. Come on. I know that people do podcasts. I like, I've done podcasts before. I didn't know it was like, I thought people, it was just a hobby. Like people get bored. Like Ben has this really like this idea that like him and I would sit down and we would make, we would like probably record for two hours or so where we just get real, real raunchy and talk shit about people for Am I to swear on here? Is that bad? Yeah, yeah, you can do it. Um, and we just like talk shit for like two hours about like everyone. He wants to do like everyone in the CAA, but and then we would post it somewhere like deep on the on the web. 
under like a fake name and just have people try to find it. That's a horrible idea. <laughs> a terrible idea. It's despicable, but it sounds kind of funny also. I think that's Twitch stream. Oh my God. Did you guys listen to that one podcast? I think it was, it was a couple months ago of that one girl that like literally just obliterated the entire, what? Twanisha Terry? No, it wasn't T.T. Terry. It was someone else. It was like someone that was older and she did this entire like podcast episode just exposing like the NCAA and it was so vulgar and it was just like insane I'm assuming you don't know what I'm talking about I have no clue what you're talking about what oh my gosh I like you have to listen to it. I feel like like can oh my god how do you not know it? what can you find it and send it to me yeah I, I literally will find it and send it to you because it's actually like my jaw was dropped the things that were said like there were like allegations being thrown out like of this girl she like used to run for like Oklahoma I don't even know what it was but it was yo I want to listen to this okay I'll <laughs> this I'm gonna is probably you, bad I'm for me to do this other podcast what I'm gonna send you this other podcast that is out of pocket okay is it what the one that you and Ben recorded already that you're saying that you no. would record but you actually already did no let me find it real quick okay um, well, I, I vote uh, no on the talking shit podcast because I think that would be a bad look. I think so too. And I think pa- people would find it in literally three seconds. No, we would post it under like, it wouldn't be like easy to find. It would be under some very, there'd be like a different language. <laughs> yeah, it would be Just a different language. So incredibly obscure with like a weird, like picture as the cover okay you just know someone would find it though immediately and then it would just blow up no it wouldn't be immediate i there's probably a way to filter like newest videos that's what i mean it would be like newest podcast episodes and you know someone in the running world would sit down just post it as on youtube that's the thing it'd be on youtube oh so nowhere else yeah don't do it that's i don't even know why i'm I'm not gonna do it no horrible idea an idea he had like a year ago um you know but he's always thinking of new things i also don't know the sport to talk shit about like i have no i have no animosity towards anyone yeah i was gonna say do you guys have like beef with people in the running world no i think people have beef with us but who mm. <laughs> does always have something to say people do always have something it's to say fine. there's always something you're always doing something wrong we're always doing something wrong but the thing is like It'd be boring if people weren't saying things, so it's fine. And it also literally has no impact. Yeah. And I think, like, when you're running well, people want to get involved, so. People want to tear you down. Exactly. Are haters your motivators? I I prey on the haters. I think people just hate Oregon in general. Yeah, people do. People, like, uh, did you ever see, what was that, like, forum called? Track Duck? Duck. Oh my gosh, my dad would send me articles from there. <laughs> that that yeah. was crazy. It was yeah. creepy, dude. This like there it be like That's I so saw, niche. I saw Cole Hawker and Jackson Messler on the corner of Franklin doing stretches. I was like, there's some dude with some sneaky footage around here. I don't want to know what he does with it, except for he just posted on track to track. That's literally so niche. Like I completely, that completely blanked my mind until like you just unlocked a memory for my well, head. Just, like imagine, imagine what people in like the NBA, like people do this for Oregon track and field. Imagine if you were an NBA player, there's probably a thousand different forums about every little aspect of your life. You can't, yeah. that must suck. I can't imagine, like, would you want to be famous? No, we were thinking about it the other day. Like you can't go anywhere with it. Like, if you were an A-list celebrity, I'd take like maybe C-list. Yeah, my main claim, like someone asked me the other day too, they're like, they asked me, would I want to be famous? And I was like, the maximum fame I would want to be is a YouTube famous because then like people know you, but you can still go places about like bodyguards. <laughs> Stop. Yeah, James Charles. <laughs> Stop. One time I ordered this thing and it came for, it was like an Instagram ad and it came from James from- Charles. No, no, no. <laughs> but like I, I got it in the mail and it said to Cooper Tier and it said, it was like the sender was James Charles. And it was either you or Ben picked up and like, uh, you got a package from James Charles. <laughs> I was like, this isn't what it looks like. It's fine. Just I'm gonna take it to my room. James Charles watches Ben's YouTube channel. <laughs> For sure. I'd be sick if we got free pallets. Stop. He's canceled. Is he? What? Yes. Are what? you kidding me? Wasn't he preying on like? Yes, he's preying on little kids. 
Ooh. Oh. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, Shame you, on you. Do you still stand the Paul brothers? Okay, no, I don't actually stand the Paul brothers. It was a joke. We got something. What? There's Sorry, so much happening. Like, not, nothing goes on in Eugene. There's so much going on. We have this really fat squirrel that lives in our in our backyard. Oh. Um, and it, like, it eats this skull we have. Skull? And, no, yeah, it, like, chews on it. What skull? So it's, it's a skull we found on top of a mountain. It's, like, a cow skull. It's a really fat squirrel, though. And yesterday I came home, and I was parking. And what is this? It's posters labeled. I thought it was toilet paper at first. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me this doesn't look like toilet paper. <laughs> that's not postage labels. That's definitely toilet paper. And a very there's two toilet paper rolls in there. Is your Ben? Yeah. I legit thought I was like, did he just dash some toilet paper? <laughs> When's he coming back? He better get back soon. But I thought I killed the squirrel, this fat squirrel, but oh, I didn't. Yeah. But we saw him today. Yeah, we saw him today. He he was just Why are you killing the squirrel? No, no, no. Someone else ran over this other squirrel. Oh. But no, our our big chunk. What do we name him? Juan. No. Juan. <laughs> we might. Have. I thought I named him Juan. Do you guys still live in the same house? Um. From last year. Or... I don't know. I feel like you guys have been living in the same place for a while. Yeah, yeah. we have for like two years. That's kind of cool. We're not living here next year, though. I don't know where oh. we're gonna live or what we're gonna do. Whoa! Now that you have money, you're like gotta go. What's that? What's like the bougiest complex in Eugene? The one on Franklin or whatever? Up on... Oh, you're thinking of... Uh, <laughs> or what's the one with the volleyball on top? Oh, Skybox? No, that's not Skybox. Yes, uh, no, oh, you're right. That's... Uh, I don't know what that one's called. So did I. Isn't that one just another Franklin? Yeah, it is. Yeah. I don't know. They all look the same. Yeah, yeah like, I don't think any another, of them are bougie, there's like another really. another Franklin being built. I've like been there one time. Cool. I had a friend that lived there. I went there on Halloween one time. What? Remember that one time? My I don't know if I want to remember. What are you going to say? It was, Hall- it was Halloween. And there was like this party in this house. And for some reason, I was there by myself. There was like 100 people in this house. And I was there by myself. Because I was waiting for my friend, but she didn't show up. And next thing I know, I looked over. And it was like, Tanner came in in a poncho and a sombrero. <laughs> you came in. It was like 10 of you people that came in. And I was by myself. You guys, you guys like, why are you here by yourself? And then we hung out the rest of the night. It was awesome. I actually do remember that. That was great. That was super. But also, cool. I don't know why I was walking into that party too. I don't either. Cause I felt so old when I walked in there. I just remember looking around. I was like, these people are eighteen years old, and I'm twenty five. Yep. Wait, that was no. I no. I was no. I was literally like twenty one. I had just turned twenty one. So. Hey. So you're going to Taze after that? Yeah. Oh, I I actually think I did go to Taze after that. I think I did too. That was kind of crazy, dude. That was like in the middle of the season. I remember because I went uh, the next the next day I went to practice and Andy was like, you look tired. I was like, ah, no, nah, I actually have more sleep than usual. And so I think that made me even more tired. And he was like, shut up. That's like, so that's like his go to phrase is you look tired when he knows exactly what that people went You're out. Not stupid. For. Obviously, we went out it was Halloween. <laughs> oh, was my awesome. God. I miss college sometimes. It's a vibe. Do you go um, and go to parties now? You know, no, I don't really go to parties. I like go to bars sometimes with friends, but there's no like house parties. And I mean, there is in San Diego, I guess, depending on where you live, but I live I downtown. Feel like Portland, I feel like Portland, you guys are doing a lot. Yeah, of Portland, there was a lot of, um, we, I basically lived on Frat Row when I was living in Portland. We had three houses next to each other and we all shared a backyard and it was like in a good part of Portland too. Like it was around other things. It was, it was very fun. Um, but it was a little like we were kind of degenerates. Yeah, I feel that. I'm sending you this podcast. Okay. Okay. Well this, oh my God, I cannot, like, what have we, what have we even talked about in this podcast? I haven't talked about anything. Give <laughs> your question. <laughs> okay. Well, I have eight minutes left because I'm, I'm doing a podcast with the Georgetown guys. I think they started, someone started a podcast and I'm in eight minutes. I have to, um, go talk for an hour about myself on that one which i don't know what questions they're gonna ask me but we can wait we have to we gotta get to business come on well that is true okay whatever i'll just ask listener questions now because that's all we have that's all we have left what does that mean my questions aren't good (laughs) (laughs) oh no i love your questions thank you um how many people do you think have clicked off this podcast after listening 
Well, we haven't talked about anything. We've just been talking about things that we know about from <laughs> our past. So I'm going to lose so many listeners. I'm just kidding. Um, okay. They'll click on it. Do you have to get like a certain length of listen to please <laughs> count? Count for what? I don't know. Don't you get paid off of like listens? Yeah. I mean, you pitch a podcast for like a certain amount of listens, but does, I mean, like, I have, I have count? listeners. What? The second they click on it, does that count as a listen? I, I don't know, actually. I don't know what the threshold is to class, to classify. It's like it's like last FM because yeah, you have to listen to a certain amount of. Yeah, I think it's that's like, probably what it is. I mean, it's probably like a certain amount of minutes no, or something. I like a percentage of a song. Because... All right, listen okay. to count. Let's go. Let's okay, go. yeah, like I literally can't anymore. Okay, um, why don't you tell anyone what B W S E Owl is? What is that? Ask Blake Haney. Me, Reed, and Blake came up with it freshman year and why should i ask blake haney like i ever talked to blake haney my entire life yeah i don't know why you would ask blake haney he also wouldn't tell you it's yeah kind of so like, what the only the the two people that i'm talking to right now would be the most likely to tell me what it is and you're not telling me uh yeah sorry that's that's like inside information it's just like it's like one of those things it's like an endearing term between us that also holds significant value and is a super awesome acronym Cool. Thanks for giving me nothing. Um, can you do a backflip? Uh, yes. Sort can of. Can we see like, it or you, what? Like on flat ground. That's I've, kind of what a backflip is. I didn't mention a trampoline anywhere. Well, yeah. What? <laughs> There's a thousand <laughs> different ways I could do a backflip. Uh, I did it on the high jump pit. Um, like three Sundays ago. Does okay, that that's kind of impressive. I feel like being uh, how tall are you? You're a tall guy. Six two. Whoa! Don't flex too hard. That's like kind of impressive to be able to do a backflip. Yeah, and to be um, six two. Okay, stop! Literally stop. What is your resting heart rate? I don't know. Okay, uh, probably like fifty. Is that low? What's a good rest? I feel like yours would be lower than fifty. Yours is probably around fifty. Maybe forty-five. Don't have time because you got to do your other podcast. I would find out right now. <laughs> um okay who's the best runner like in your squad you think me you think reed's right there like don't offend him i'm not in their squad well you're like in their squad you're literally in this podcast right now true well i wouldn't pick me either (laughs) (laughs) um no i don't think it it could be anyone on any day but yeah i like to have confidence in myself right someone did ask how are you so confident um I don't know. Kind of crazy. I don't really have any specific reason to be confident. <laughs> You're just built different. Like, like I just do it and then it ends up working out. So it's fair. Right. So the key to confidence is to just be confident. It's like, okay, so what was that? Uh, what was that line from that song the other day, Reed? It was like, uh, <laughs> The, it was like the truth is what you get away with so like at the oh, yeah. at the end of the day like i could say anything but if i like go and do it then there it is so right so wow that's yeah. that was prophetic right yeah there. honestly like i'm crying right now i have tears in my eyes uh, thinking about that um i will say like i don't want to boost your ego even more because like you are a confident guy but like the amount of simps that were literally like Ask like just saying that they would simp for you is like embarrassing in this in this question thing I asked on my Instagram like guys and girls like so with everyone. Funny. It's so funny because like the second you like meet me, I go, why? <laughs> that's like that's like the majority of what happened. That's what I think at least. Maybe it's the but Jeff Harlow mom, effect. You think? Like oh they should. I'm a my mom's like I'm a simp for you. I don't know. Your mom said I'm a simp for you. Uh huh. Oh, that's cute. Know what is, but no, it's cool. It's weird. Didn't think it would happen. I think it's the Jack Harlow effect. Uh, yeah, it might be. We actually Ben used to love Jack Harlow videos, so we would, we would watch them all the time. Definitely gained some some insight into how that works. We the aura ran, ran some tests, and it does work. It's weird. Good that's to cool, know. Though. I appreciate all my. Do I call them fans? Fans and simps. Fans and Sims. Thank okay. Um, I'm. This is a question for both of you guys. If you ran a marathon right now, what would you run? <laughs> I don't think I'd finish. You don't think? Yeah, right. Yeah, right. right. At the moment, I don't think you. Would I finish really it. don't think I'd finish. Like, 
I get to like 16 miles on long runs and I want to like just fall down and die. Yeah, but it's just mental at that point. What's like 530 to 540 pace? Is that like I'm not a calculator, I don't know. 540 pace? It's like 220. You think you can no, 220 it? is quick. 220 is like, oh, you know what? Six flat. No, I five or 236 pace. Or something like that. 240. I bet I could run 230. I think 236 is six flat, right? What's so, like what does Shalane Flanagan run uh when she ran like the seven marathons and seven? I bet I could run with her on one of those. Okay. Would you run a marathon? Like, do you guys, is that on your bucket list as no, runners? I'm moving down in distance. I think we both are. I don't think I don't. You're moving down as you get older? <laughs> I can't even run a 5K strictly. Now I'm going down to 15, dabbling in an eight. Who knows? Yeah, but like when you're pushing like 35. I, I guess guys, like you guys can kind of like go for a long time with pro running. I feel like there's a lot of older guys. I don't think I'll still be running professionally while I'm 35. I want to have one of those like really like solid and not super long careers, but like did everything I want to do. Like once I accomplish all my goals, given I do, hanging them up. Yeah, that's good. That's a good way to go out. So no marathon in your future. Who knows? Who knows? I don't want to knock it right now, but at the moment I have no desire. Okay. Um, well, I'm already late to my podcast now. So well, let me see if there's any other like really good last questions, considering I don't even know what we talked about on this. And then my, I think everyone that listened to this point, their brain cells have rotted away. So yeah, this is poor listeners. Um, well, do you guys have any advice to like, there's, I mean, there's a lot of younger listeners to the podcast. Like, do you have any advice for them? Um, my advice would be have fun. I think people too often sacrifice the fun um, for like, oh, I have to be like so strict and so regimented with everything you do uh, to be the best. And if anyone actually like, got a real good look at inside like what we do and like how super serious we are, they would be like, how are they fast? I think. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah. We're kind of like at the end of the day, we're kind of dumb and like we kind of do what we want. Like to an extent, obviously when it comes down to training and like recovering, we do everything we need to do and we do it pretty well. But outside of that, like, I feel like it's good to have balance between running yeah. and other things when it comes down to it. So like, don't, don't put all your pressure on like one thing. Cause there's always going to be more races as long as you want there to be. So just like get better and <laughs> terrible <laughs> advice, get better. Um, <laughs> consistency and have fun enjoy it yeah just do it every day if you want to do it every day like it won't be like a job or forced yeah that's good advice I mean I like your guys' energy I think it's good and it's fun so you've got a fan right here who's willing to pay now thirty dollars to thirty dollars well I mean you had 13 for the runner space and now I paid 15 for this zoom call so I'm like I'll I'll then I'll request you guys Okay, okay, yeah, tight. Yeah, okay, sweet. Um, well, what? where can people follow you? Uh, people can follow me at Cooper Tier on all socials. Uh, my TikToks are lacking right now. I have a couple saved up in the in the drafts. I've been posting, posting some close friends ones um, that have been coming with some good content. Here, I'll give you... No, no, we can't. Um, <laughs> there's been some good stuff so far, though. So, um, yeah, follow me everywhere, Cooper Tier. Uh, yeah, I guess I mainly just use Instagram right now. Reed Brown. Okay. He's been pumping out content been lately. Pumping out some content. You should follow Reed. I lost my Twitter account. I got to get that back, but you can follow that too. I'm sure it's just Reed Brown. Okay. If you're listening on Spotify, follow me on Spotify also Ooh. and like my playlist. Oh, okay. Whoa. Spotify influencer. Right. That's what I'm trying to be. That's the goal. Okay. That's like the main goal out of all of this. That's the main takeaway from today's episode. Oh, Bob Trump's Bob Trump. not, that's a secret place. <laughs> Okay. Well, thank you guys for coming on. Um, thank you, Reed, for this little cameo. Um, I, I appreciate you guys taking the time to have this um, really insightful conversation. I've learned a lot, and I'm sure the viewers have too. So um, you guys can do it in unison this time. To close out the episode, can you guys give us a good old peace out, fellas? Oh, um, one thing. I do kind of like coffee now also. <gasps> Change the game. Wow. Okay. See, you... you you know you become a pro runner and now you realize like how important it is i don't think coffee is good i like a like a vanilla latte 
<laughs> okay. Well, you're in the, okay. You're in the early stages. This is what yeah, people go through, like freshman year of college. The gateway. It's the gateway. Yeah. It's the gateway. It's soon you'll be just like, you know, like if you come for pre, we'll go out for a vanilla latte. Whoa. I mean, okay. Well, I'm going to get a cold brew. You can get the, your um, Frappuccino beverage. I'll still grab the hot chocolate. Good man. I, you know, I get hot chocolate 90% of the time anyway. <laughs> But okay. good luck for uh, getting your thing out of the bathroom. I hope you don't have to go to the bathroom anytime. <laughs> There's a bathroom on my floor, so I'm good for that. But I don't know why I haven't gotten any calls from a maintenance guy. And I'm a little confused because my laundry is soaking wet in my washer. So I'm a little distressed. And now I'm late to my podcast. Okay, can you guys give us a peace out, fellas? Okay. <laughs> Come on! Oh, that's pretty sudden. Holy... Uh... <laughs> Thanks for coming on the podcast. <laughs> Thanks for having Unique us on the podcast. Unique Eagle. Yeah. Uh, all right. We'll do it. We'll do it like a three, two, one. Peace out, fellas. Peace out. Thanks for having us. Thank you all so much for listening to today's episode of Convos Over Cold Brew. I hope you enjoyed it. I don't even really know how to describe this episode, but it was a fun conversation. I feel like it was a little like inside jokey, so hopefully people got it. I don't even know. And the audio was messed up. Like the amount of technical difficulties I had in this episode was too many. So thank you for coming along on this journey, but hope you enjoyed the conversation with Cooper with the cameo from Baby Reed. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram at commas over cold brew pod and also rate and review on Apple Podcasts. That really helps me out a lot and it's a free way to support the podcast. So I appreciate all of you who have rated and reviewed that seriously means the world when I read those nice reviews. It makes my day. So thank you all for listening again and I will catch you all next week. Peace out, fellas.